I'm afraid I have to start with an apology. I'm sorry if I seem a bit flat this morning. It's partly because Quentin just exposed a really embarrassing part of my past that I didn't tell him about, but mainly because I've got a horrible cold and I'm feeling dreadful. You might be wondering why I'm here in spite of my blocked nose and sore throat. And the answer is very simple. The reason that I'm here instead of <coughs> at home in bed feeling sorry for myself is that I'm a woman. And as a woman, I'm immune to one of the worst complications of the common cold, man flu. <laughs> Now, most of you have heard of man flu. It's the phenomenon by which a man who becomes unwell with a cold stereotypically becomes bedridden for several days, unable to do anything, whereas a woman with the same infection buys some Lemsip and gets on with it. But is this stereotype fair? Or is it possible that men's and women's bodies really might react differently to some kinds of infection? Now, in the field of medicine, we, we already know that innate differences between men and women mean there's a whole host of conditions that are way more common in one sex than the other. So in men, you're much more likely to have color blindness, a clotting disorder called hemophilia, even autism. So should we be asking whether actually the common coughs and colds that we all get from time to, to time really might be making men more unwell than women. Well, recently, some scientists took some white blood cells from a group of healthy men and women, and they exposed them in a laboratory to rhinovirus, which is the virus that most commonly causes colds in humans. And the results were fascinating. They discovered that the cells that came from younger women, so those women who hadn't yet been through the menopause, produced substantially more of a key virus-fighting chemical called cytokine than women who were older and the men of any age at all. And this evidence suggests that perhaps what are often called female hormones, estrogens, which are more abundant in women of childbearing age, may have a really big role in promoting immune system activity, allowing younger women to mount a stronger immune response to many types of infection. Now, we're a long way from understanding all of the implications of this for you and me, and of understanding all the ins and outs of it. It's a really exciting area of research at the moment. But the bottom line for me as a doctor is that there are some key differences in the ways that men and women's bodies react to some kinds of infection. So it might be time to rethink that stereotype and start taking man flu a bit more seriously. Thank you.